everyone. Today I'm going to show you the third step for applying letters to your pillow or football or other stuffed project. So I've got some suggestions for laying out your letters or designs onto your project. If you're doing a pillow, I suggest that you do the letters in a curve or diagonally because a lot of kids would want to put their letters straight across but then it is hard to pin them straight and to keep them straight while you're sewing. So it's better if you don't put them straight across. And of course you can uh, put other designs in any way that you want. With the football, you can see I've put three letters across um, and you can do that, you can design your football in uh, different ways like that too. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is lay out all your letters and designs before you pin or sew anything. So I've kind of started that ahead of time so that you, um, this video isn't too long, so you can keep watching. So I decided to put my letters going diagonally, okay? And the, I'm gonna add this Y right here, okay? And I've got my flowers here. And what I've done is I first, before I pinned anything, I laid it out and made sure it looked the way I want. I also wanna think about the nap of the pillow. The nap is the way it pets. So if you look at this pillow, if I pet it, the fur, the nap is going down. So when you go to pin your letters onto your pillow, make sure the nap is going down. Kind of if you're petting it like a cat, it's going down and you'd want it petting like toward your stomach like that. Okay, so if I had this pillow, it's petting down. So this one is petting down this way. Nice, okay and I've put my last letter on, wanna lay all your letters and designs out first. Get them where you want them, then start pinning. Okay, so I have them all laid on. And you wanna add enough pins to keep each item really um, on there securely so it doesn't move around while you're sewing. So like this K has four pins in it. The R only has three, the I has two. This flower has one, two, three, four, five, six pins in it. So you can see, you need to put as many pins as you need to hold it securely. I think the Y is gonna take three. So what I do is I push the pin in through both layers and then I push it up so it's flat. Take another pin, I'm gonna do each part of the Y. I'm gonna push it down through both layers and then push it back up so it's flat. And then this last pin, push it down through both layers and push it up so it's flat. I want to show you with this flower here. I had cut this part of the flower out of pink and then I cut the inside of the flower out of white and I can just place that right on top. And then I have to pin actually through all those layers. Push it back in, push it back up so it's flat. Okay, so now I'm ready to sew. So the sewing technique is called um, an applique stitch. Basically what I'm gonna be sewing is over the edge of my letters and designs. So I'm gonna do like I did before. I know you guys have sewn before if you're on this is kind of a, a second level project. So I'm gonna take an arm's length of thread, arm to arm, stretch those arms out all the way, and I'm gonna cut it. Now, normally on a project like this, I would use white thread on white letters. I would use pink thread on the pink flowers. However, I'm gonna use red so it shows up so you can see my stitches. But when you sew, you should use white thread on white letters and pink thread on pink flowers. They should match. Okay, so I'm gonna thread my needle. I've got a piece of beeswax here. I'm putting on my fingers and I'm going to rub it on the end of my thread. That just helps me thread my needle. I've got my thread just barely peeking out between my thumb and my finger, and I'm going to push it through the eye of the needle. Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, and I'll pull it through. So both ends are even. So now my thread goes up, through the eye of my needle and back down so it's a double thread and I'm going to take the ends and tie them together in a knot. So again I like to use that beeswax or some regular candle wax if that's all you have at home. 
and I'm going to get some on my finger. This helps me tie the knot. I'm going to wrap it around my finger one, two, three times loosely. I'm going to roll it off my finger, roll those pieces together, and then pull it down tight. And then I get a nice knot at the end. Okay? So I'm going to start sewing the K up here. Now I don't want this ugly knot to show on the front. So my first stitch has to be up from the bottom. So I'm not going to sew in and out on the K. I'm going to sew over the edge of the K. This is very important. So I'm going to come actually up in the purple, in the fur, right next to my letter. Come up in the fur and I go down in the felt, a little stitch right across from where I came up. So it's going over the edge. And then very close together, I come up in the fur, down in the felt, right across from it. So my stitch is going over the edge. Come up in the fur, and down in the felt, right across from it. This is nice and relaxing. You can see I have three stitches in that little space now. All right, I'm gonna come up in the fur, and down in the felt, right across from it. Okay, I'm gonna move over here, up in the fur, and I'm sewing over the edge, Right there. Now I'm, I'm kind of sewing, sewing past this first pin, so I'm going to take that out so it's not in my way. Okay, again, up in the fur, right next to my letter, and then down in the felt, right across from where I came up. So now in this little tiny space, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. That's how small and close together they have to be. When you come up, it's very important that you come up right next to the letter. You don't want to come up way over here or you're going to have a big ugly stitch going from there to there. So you always want to come up in the fur right next to your letter and then sew over the edge of your letter. Okay, so now these pretty stitches are going over the edge of my letter. Now, when you're sewing, you're going to sew around the whole letter. But if you get down to where you only have that much thread left, you're almost out, it's very important to stop sewing and go to the back and tie off. So let's pretend that it's time for me, either I've finished a letter or I'm almost out of thread and I only have that much left. What I do is I go to the back and I'm gonna tie off. So right where I left off, right here, I'm gonna go one, two, three stitches on top of each other. And on the last one, on the third one, I put it through the loop and pull it tight. And that's called tying off. That ties my knot. And then I can cut that with a pair of scissors or shears. Okay. And now you can see my stitches are going over my letter. Again, you're going to want to use thread that matches whatever you're sewing. All right. Well, that was step three. And I hope that you paid attention and you're ready to sew on your letters.